TCP IP. That's one of the best parts of the iNavX application. Keep this iPad portable. So in this case, we have wanted to use our ship's GPS and the ship's AIS, and we want to have that transmitted to the iPad wirelessly. In this case, we're using the SR161 AIS receiver sold by Miltech. And what's interesting about this particular receiver is uh, they also sell a cable that has twin leads on it, which allows one of the leads you connect to a GPS, and it goes into the AIS receiver, combines with the AIS data, and then shoots it out over here to this little guy right here, which is the uh, DigiConnect WISP transmitter. And it transmits both the GPS and AIS signal out to uh, your um, <clears throat> MacBook, your iPad, or your iPhone. In this case, it's uh, we're using it for our iPad. Now you've got the Digi connected, and you've got your G ship's GPS streaming into it. You have your ship's AIS streaming into it, and it's transmitting to the iPad. So how do we connect? Okay, go under Settings. This is the iPad Settings. Tap on Wi-Fi. Go over to Wi-Fi. Turn it on. Okay, and up comes NEMA Data. Click on NEMA Data. Okay. Now we've got that. That means we're connected to the Digi. All right. The Digi is coming into the iPad. Go ahead and launch iNavX like you would any other time. Okay. I am back on the charts window. And you'll note that I'm not going to use the charts part of it. I'm using the lower part of it this time. And I'm looking for in specifically setup. I'm tapping on that. Okay. Up comes this other window. I'm going to tap on TCP IP, all right, because that's what we're after. Up comes the window we're after, and notice uh, that host already has the uh, number filled in here, the domain number filled in here, and the port here. Now, I'll have those ports written below this video. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, and lo and behold, here comes our data streaming in. Okay, that means that GPS and AIS is now streaming into the iPad and, most importantly, streaming into uh, iNavX. So I quit out of there. We're going to go back to our charts windows. We're going to open our chart, okay? We're going to tap on Puget Sound, get back into the chart, and let's see how we've done. I'm pulling out here. What do we have for our targets? Well, Look at here. Here's an AIS, AIS target right here, which is a Washington State Ferry. Okay. And here's another one uh, that's up at uh, uh, Orcas. But, okay, let's tap on this guy right here. And up comes a window. His name hasn't filled in right now, but we can tell that uh, all of his statistics that we want to know about him are right here. Okay. And then for us to center, we just tap the triangle, but here we are in Fisherman's Bay on Lopez Island. And that's just a short tutorial on how to get into and use TCP IP.